Looking for a good time indoors? What about some quality television you can watch with your BFF? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows to binge watch with your BFF. Wait! It didn't work! What? The spell, it didn't work! How do you know? When I touched the pot, I had a flash. I saw Jeremy. Number 10. Parks and Recreation Tom? I couldn't afford enough premium carpet to get us to the stage. I mean, it was a short walk, but it was pretty luxurious, right? This hit series arrived on the scene with both praise and criticism. Critics argued that creators Greg Daniels and Michael Schur copied the show's mockumentary style of filmmaking made famous by The Office. The series centers around Leslie, portrayed by the comically talented Amy Poehler, and her shenanigans as a mid-level bureaucrat in the Parks and Recreation Department of Pawnee, Indiana, while trying to make the world a better place. Park services have been slashed, but we are all still here, and we have a job to do. Make the world's biggest pizza. No, make this town fun for the people who live here. Fine, but after that, the pizza is our top priority. A show so focused on friendships and relationships in general, this series is a no-brainer as a binge-watch option with your own bestie. With its lovable characters, hysterical plots, and modern feminist issues, Parks and Recreation hit the mark time and time again. Clothes. Treat yourself. Fragrances. Treat yourself. Massages. Treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. The best day of the year! Number 9. Modern Family So would you get them? Yeah. Just suck. Kids! That is okay. so... Kids, get down here! Constantly breaking social barriers, this hilarious mockumentary-style sitcom created by Christopher Lloyd and Stephen Levitan tells the story of a modern California family complete with gay couples, interracial couples, and lots of love. Alternating between three different couples, this popular series brings the laughs with its witty storylines, wacky characters, and talented guest stars. You better cherish him! although it has been met with some controversy from the LGBT community and feminists. The creators have always been happy to address these concerns through new and fascinating story arcs. Pretty cool, right? I didn't yell at Tom because he used to be Tina. What? I yelled at him because he made fun of... Made fun of what? What's, oh, thank what's God. to make fun of? If you ever want to watch a show that teaches people to love others just the way they are, then Modern Family is for you. You can't leave us. We're a danger to ourselves. We're a family of fire starters, poison eaters, and online prostitutes. Number 8. Game of Thrones Created by David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, and based off the popular book series by George R.R. R. Martin, this HBO series is a medieval wonder. Known for its unbelievable content and cliffhangers, as well as its gripping storylines and top-notch performances, Game of Thrones is one of the most addictive shows on television. If you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out. This series combines politics with medieval fantasy, as leaders from the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros fight to decide who should rule them all. Long may she reign. Long may she reign. However, with Daenerys building her army across the sea with three dragons, these guys have their work cut out for them. Though its many storylines may sometimes leave some viewers confused, they never make us any less invested in the characters. The King in the North! The King in the North! <laughs> Number 7. Jane the Virgin Así es. Nunca puedes volver atrás. Y eso es lo que sucede cuando pierdes tu virginidad. A modern Virgin Mary. Okay, maybe not. But this fun series about celibacy and romance is so addictive, you can't help but want to watch the adventures of Jane in every episode. Centered around a strongly religious young woman named Jane who believes in remaining a virgin until marriage, the comedy drama telenovela sees things go wrong during a routine checkup when Jane is accidentally impregnated through artificial insemination. You what? It was a mistake. I made a mistake and there was only a 20% chance that it would take, so... Created by Jenny Snyder Ehrman, this fresh and modern take on Latin American serial dramas effectively mixes humorous and complex storylines to make it a treasure to binge. Life for the rest of my life. Number 6. The Office Thank you, Michael. Beautiful. Who doesn't love Michael Scott? 
Based off the original British sitcom of the same name, The Office is a pure delight thanks to its documentary-style filmmaking, smart stories, and, of course, Steve Carell. I declare bankruptcy! This Greg Daniels series follows the hilarious antics of the boss, the aforementioned Scott, and the rest of the employees of the made-up company Dunder Mifflin. Smile. No. I never smile if I can help it. Showing one's teeth is a submission signal in primates. When someone smiles at me, all I see is a chimpanzee begging for its life. One of the more unique things about The Office is the way it can bring you out of your worst moods. With its well-crafted jokes, hysterical plot, and well-developed characters, this show takes you on an unforgettable journey that will leave you hosting a binge-watch marathon with your BFF, and maybe more. In short, it's hard to argue that The Office is not comic gold. Meredith, your boob is out. Fine. No! Oh. Too far, no. Meredith! Too far! Damn it, Meredith! Where are your no. panties? It's casual day. Number 5. The O.C. Who are you? Whoever you want me to be. Okay. This popular Fox series displayed the culture shock between an idealistic family and their superficial and narrow-minded Newport Beach community. Welcome to the OC, bitch. And this is how it's done in Orange County. The show is also a coming-of-age story about the lives of troubled youth Ryan Atwood, who is adopted by the Cohen family, and his stepbrother Seth, as they navigate through a cruel social world. Welcome to the dark side. Through their various friendships and romantic entanglements, they are taught the good as well as the consequences of said relationships. The OC kept us tuning in every week, with its special attention to teen social issues, impeccable storytelling, and memorable characters, and will keep us re-watching it for years to come. Ideas have strengthened and we've been It's time to cut ties it won't. Number 4. Master of None Hello, um... Me and, uh, this young lady were... Yep, there it is. Nice. Um, is, is that a good brand, or...? It's the best and only brand. This hit Netflix series was created by Alan Yang and Aziz Ansari, the latter of whom also stars as the main protagonist. I gotta be honest, that looks pretty disgusting. I I'm gonna eat this one. I'm sorry. Dev Shaw is a struggling 30-year-old actor, trying to find himself while living in New York City. The show is absolutely fantastic for its charm, hilarious storylines, and a fresh take on the life of an actor just trying to get through the day with all the craziness in his life. They're coming! Battle stations! There's too many of them. We're not gonna make it out of here. We're not, but you will. It also tackles relationships, food, and other modern issues that millennials are sure to relate to. If you haven't watched this brilliant series yet, don't wait, even if it's just for the charismatic and talented Aziz Ansari alone. This is supposed to be the best taco! What am I supposed to do now? Go eat the second best taco like some kind of asshole? Number 3. Gilmore Girls You have a problem. Yes, I do. Junkie. Angel, you've got wings, baby. Gilmore Girls follows the tale of a single mother, Lorelai Gilmore, and her daughter Rory in the fictional town of Stars Hollow, Connecticut. I think I'm going to die first. How much longer? I, I don't know. I just know that every year I block this part out. From now on, I'm going to remind you of it. The series was riveting due to the social issues that it addressed. Along with its brilliant and realistic story arcs around family, friendship, romance, work, education, and class status, just to name a few. What am I doing here, Rory? You're picking me up. I don't belong here. Not anymore. However, what is really the heart and soul of the show is the relationship between Lorelai and Rory. Created by Amy Sherman Palladino, the show's unique style of dialogue, strong family themes, amazing cast performances, and clever balance between comedy and drama make it highly recommended for binge-watchers everywhere. And with the Netflix revival of the series in 2016, now is the perfect time to catch up. Couldn't have hoped for anything better. So, it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. Number 2. Sex and the City Even if you never took the pleasure to view this pop culture icon when it was originally on the air, you still know its title and its popular theme song. This HBO romantic comedy, created by Darren Starr, tells the story of four best friends navigating their professional and romantic relationships in New York City. 
Look, if you are a successful saleswoman in this city, you have two choices. You can bang your head against the wall and try and find a relationship, or you can say screw it and just go out and have sex like a man. Although its content wouldn't always leave the best impression on young females, its characterizations of women had its upsides, such as when it presented the fairer sex as happy to be herself. But the most exciting, challenging, and significant relationship of all is the one you have with yourself. Whatever your opinion of the show, no one can deny its impact in television history thanks to its brilliantly written characters and quirky storylines that keep us begging for more. Don't laugh at me, but maybe we could be each other's soulmates. And then we could let men be just these great, nice guys to have fun with. Well, that sounds like a plan. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Why does everybody think that I'm scared of girls? Because you're a chicken. You're oh, a no. chicken. Cuckoo ka cha! Cuckoo ka cha! Were you following me? No, I, uh, I just, I saw you fall. Uh huh. And you just happen to be hanging out in a cemetery. I'm visiting. I have uh, family here. So, what'd you bet? I win, Nathan stays on the team. Why? Because it's the last thing he wants. And anyway, it's not about him. Peyton. Number one, Friends. I'll be there for you with this smash hit sitcom that you can never possibly get tired of. Hey, Tribbiani, give me that coffee now. <laughs> this witty and sometimes heartbreaking series by David Crane and Marta Kaufman captures what it's like to live in New York City among good friends. 42 to 21, like the turkey Ross is done. <laughs> Whether you're a fan of Rachel, Ross, Monica, Phoebe, Chandler, Joey, or them all, it doesn't matter. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> With so many relatable moments and characters, such as Ugly Naked Guy and Janice and so on, this series keeps us wanting more. With its popularity, critical acclaim, and themes earned it over 60 Emmy nods. We really just love it because it reminds us what it means to have friends. Why don't you just get a roommate? Uh, I don't know, I think you reach a certain age, having a roommate is just kind of pathetic. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's, that's pathet, which is Sanskrit for really cool way to live. Do you agree with our list? I want you to bring the garbage out. Because I'm not going to have sex with you unless you bring out the garbage. What's your favorite show to binge watch with your BFF? For more awesome top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Yes, dude, I really could use the extra cash right now. I need to resole my loafers. Ugh, cute. I have a cavus foot. High arches. I know. Ballerina's habit.